Hi friends! Welcome to another speed build. Um, I'm doing a shell challenge. Uh, once again, two shell challenges in a row. So I'm doing a shell challenge that was for my dear friend um, Eldritch Icor um, for their birthday. And this one was um, unique in that I did kind of like a modern build. Um, very big home. Um, the rules were, I forget the the builds exactly um but i believe you could use base game desert luck spooky stuff and snowy escape um i mostly use snowy escape and base game with um so there is a rule in this where you basically have to have the basement must be spooky <laughs> so i try to do it as spooky as possible my brain had a very hard time with this for whatever reason but um i tried to make the basement as spooky as possible so um we'll see that at the very end <laughs> but um let's get into the build so we are starting out with the basement um i wanted to do a walkout basement um for that little spooky basement that she has at the bottom um, that we're supposed to keep spooky part of the rules for her um, their birthday um, and they wanted to have that like uh, spookiness at the bottom so um, that is what we did uh, and yeah I, I had a lot of fun with this I really wanted to play around with platforms with this one and I did get to put a little platform in the beginning as steps. Um, I did it. I think I did a little platform in the living room. I want to say um, I didn't do one in the bathroom. I think I tried to do one in the bathroom, but it just wasn't working out. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to make this like a modern black and white build. Like I said, I was very inspired with Kate Emerald. They had a black and white build where people. Um, where it was like a walkout basement and I wanted to like make my own style of that. So um, this is the book you got. <laughs> so um, I am playing around with these windows. I had a hard time getting the look that I wanted from this um, because the windows I I guess essentially wanted wasn't really part of this cake, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know I think I wanted maybe like really tall windows to go in the front but I did kind of want like a overhead part of the build to like kind of really bring it together um to make it look a little unique in the front and it just wasn't it just wasn't hit in the way that I wanted it to hit that's all I'm gonna say um, <laughs> so sometimes the builds work out for you sometimes they don't and um that's okay I think that's okay I want to say that's okay um, I had a time with the roofing. For some reason, um, I wanted the roofing. I don't know. Like, I changed the roofing eventually because right now is atrocious. <laughs> right now, the roofing is bad and um, we should all um, shame me as I walk down the street with this build because it was so bad. Um, but eventually, I'm getting it. I'm getting it better right now. I'm getting it better right now. <laughs> um... And so I eventually do like this modern kind of roof thing um, and it, it, it works out. I'll just say that it eventually it works out fine. It just it took me a while to get there. <laughs> oh, but um, yeah, this build was a lot of fun. I did it mostly off stream. I didn't um, stream it. If you did not know, I stream on twitch.tv. And you're more than welcome to hang out with us sometime on Twitch because um, I am definitely there quite a bit. <laughs> um, right now I'm doing like a three time a week schedule. Um, I um, am currently, I'm still cleaning and doing reorganization in the house, um, in this room actually, and then eventually the next room. So um, this week we cleared out my closet that is... I guess kind of <laughs> it's in front of me <laughs> and um I clear that out and so now we're trying to like figure out a closet system for that and also clearing out more of it because I still have just boxes and stuff um so eventually we're going to do like maybe a in closet system of some sort and I'm really excited about that um and then all my contact paper came in so I'm going to do a couple of um 
hopefully cool um, accent walls in here. Um, I think I have one for the basement and I have, not the basement. <laughs> I'm talking, I'm looking at the build like, yeah, 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 the, the, the window with the basement and all that. <laughs> but um, we have one, um, I have a beautiful, like, uh, I think I mentioned this before, like my favorite, like, aesthetic is probably like a dark, romantic kind of aesthetic. And um, I got this really dark um, wallpaper with purple flowers and florals, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, from there, I also bought a like neutral um, wall that I think I'm gonna put on like this side of the room that you completely cannot see. But I'm planning to put um, an accent wall on that side of the room. I have some gold um, uh, metal grids up right now that are looking phenomenal. So um, I think it's gonna look good against it because it's more of a neutral wallpaper with a, um, I would say like a, a white with a, um, I think it's called Siobhan, Siobhan <laughs> pattern. I think that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I've been like back to the build. Um, I've been really working on this like modern style. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever done a build. No, I have with the, the mini packs. I keep forgetting that I, it's weird having money. <laughs> I will say that because the tiny builds, you don't have money. And so I never get to make stuff like this. So like for me, this is wild that I get to have a pool, a basement. Um, I get to use actual flooring <laughs> and not to rain paint for everything. So um, that's like a little treat for me. Personally, it's a treat for me. <laughs> so um, it's wild that I get to like use not terrain paint because terrain paint is free and like i'm always looking at them being like i don't know which one i want to use um so this is kind of nice that i get to basically uh use terrain paint <laughs> in this not terrain paint in this build and so um this is a build where i really um used all the um flooring so that it was a much more cleaner look, I guess, without it having a lot of nature in it. The nature part of it's those green plants that you're going to see all around the build. Uh, I wanted to keep it very kind of manicured um, around this build. I didn't think it needed that wild look that I usually, my landscaping style is very like wild and um, very romantic, I want to say. I think that's like the... I think that's my personal style with this, <laughs> but um, I can understand how that's not like, it's good to like do different things, you know, every now and then, which is what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, it's a, I guess it's a little uncapped with the vines going up, but they are like manicured vines. Like they're not, they're not huge. <laughs> like they're not taking up the whole build. Um, but this one, like, I don't know. I was having a hard time. I've been like in a quasi building slump, I feel like, um, because the last build I posted was from like December and um, I had not really built in a couple weeks. Um, I kind of had like a little break from building and then, you know, I came back from everything and, you know, the holidays and blah, 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 blah. And you come back from not building from old for a while and then I'm like, I think I lost my mojo. Why can't I build? I can't build anything. <laughs> Why? Why? So I like hate all my builds for some reason. Like all my builds suck. And you know, that's not the case. I keep telling myself that's not the case. But um, in my head, all my builds suck. <laughs> and <laughs> there's nothing anybody can say to me to make me feel differently. Um, so this build, like I had a hard time with it. I had a hard time finding inspiration with it. Um, I just like... I came in and it was me against the build and nobody asked for that. Like nobody cares that much. Um, but I eventually feel like I get a little bit of my groove back with this. Like I will definitely say it's like, it's not one of my favorite builds, but like people were looking at it. It's like, Oh, this is really beautiful. Marcy. Like you did a wonderful job. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um I think I'm like kind of getting some weird like all or nothing thing now that I uh I don't know you know sometimes when you're in your brain and you're like 
I want to be the best at something, but like I'm clearly not. And I think sometimes I get that mentality where I want to be the best at something. And I want this to be the best modern build that this person has ever seen. I want to be the best, you know, the best build for this shell challenge, you know? And um, I think sometimes that like really messes with your brain um, and puts you in a funk. Um, I don't know if a lot of people talk about this in a build, like having like build funk because I definitely have it and um, I had it for a couple, probably a couple weeks now. Um, like I've been trying to build rooms lately, which has been really nice. Um, I think I'm going to do uh, at Sims 4 Ideas on YouTube. <laughs> And they're on Twitter, um, but they're um, going to do another build challenge, um, room challenge for February. And I think it's going to be really fun. I'm glad to participate in it again. They had like, um, I had so much fun with the builds last time. So um, this one is a little different where you're going to have different, um, they're going to provide each week, they provide like a room template for you to use. And then you build off a theme for each week. So um that's gonna be pretty fun I think I think it's gonna be a pretty fun idea I'm, I'm not mad at it <laughs> I'm mad at it um but I'm really excited to um dig into that and probably get more like build inspiration um because I think sometimes I've been also having a problem with um brain fog um and it, it's been a bit of an issue but um we're figuring it out <laughs> um and yeah, I've just been having a problem with brain fog. It's it's something new for me where I'm not remembering things or like it's hard for me to pull things from memory um, a bit. So um, I'm also dealing with that uh, in real life, I guess you should say. So um, that's something else that I've kind of been into um, trying to figure out and what's the best course of action. And of course, I'm talking to a professional and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, <laughs> What's been going on in my life? Um, but this build, um, I think it's coming together pretty nicely. Uh, I really like this like kitchen area a whole lot. I've been really using these cabinets lately. I have another build that I did for my friend um, Ben um, Swolio, and um, I use kitchen cabinets for like everything in that build. Like there isn't a kitchen cabinet that I didn't use. Um, <laughs> And I used it for like a TV, like a TV um, entertainment system. I used it for that. It looked great. It looked great. You, you're going to love it. Um, but I did um, in the other series that I do, the Tiny Build series, um, I made my sim and I'm going to probably post her soon. I just have to like go and edit the pictures and stuff like that because I have her whole outfit lined up. She looks gorgeous. I love her so much. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really excited about it. Um, I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm using some gallery art. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm using some gallery art. I, I like using gallery art. Is it against the law? Like, <laughs> Are people upset when others use gallery art? Do you consider it cheating? Because, um, I, I mean, I don't, obviously. I use it all the time. Um, I like using other people's creations. I feel like that's why they made it for us to use it. So I'm going to use it. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I ended up um, with this house making uh, three bedrooms. Um, one for a toddler, as you see that I'm building here. Um and a room for a set of kids um maybe yeah they were kids because I put like toys in there and then one for I assume the parents of some sort um and then there's there's some lore there is some lore with this build um, that I wrote <laughs> that is pretty just silly silly fun um but yeah this is the kids room upstairs um they have bunk beds they have a little teddy um well a unicorn not really a teddy bear and um <laughs> i really like this i i like the i mean i mm, i like the toddler room more because maybe because it's a bit more detailed 
than this build is um, for the kids' room. And, like, the room is so small that I couldn't really put a lot of stuff in it. But I wanted the parents' room to be grand. So, um, the kids, uh, didn't get, they got the short, they got the short end of the stick for that one. Um, but yeah, this is the parents' bedroom. I really, really liked, um, that snowy escape painting. So I decided to use that as, like, the framing of the, that wall, pretty much. It pretty much, um, takes over that wall area. And they have pretty, a pretty grand, um, bedroom here. Um, you'll see how I'm gonna add a couch. Um, definitely always add carpet a rug i uh, always hire the rug your girl is adding rugs all day all night and um i make a cute little balcony area here too so um that's always kind of fun i like the way these chairs look together as if they're l-shaped because then the pillow comes together and it's so cute <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> um but anyway uh i really i really like the way this room turned out like between this and a kitchen dining room are probably my two favorite rooms in this house. Um, even though I do, the outside patio is nice. Um, okay, yeah, we're covering that up with, um, with seats. <laughs> but the outside patio is nice. Can confirm, it's really nice. And, um, yeah, I really, really like that part too. So, um, you, you can't take it away from me. You can't. You just can't. Um, and then a little outside flowers. You know I have to put a little flowers in there. Just like a little bit of flowers. <sighs> but yeah, now we get to the basement. Um, so I don't, I can't remember if I showed you guys or not. I think I might save it for the end. But, um, we make like, uh, the, the one part of the basement is creepy as requested by Eld Eldridge. Um, or Nicole as I like to call them. <laughs> Um, but here we go. Uh, it's like, a. I wanted this area to be like the family room that they all sort of like hang out and play games and, um, you know, and do murders. <laughs> so we just wanted it to make something that they can all sort of hang out and just chill and have a good time, feed the fish, um, read books. I think I put a chess table in here. Um, I put some, you know, art on the wall for the fam. Um, just very cozy. Like, this is in the formal, um, living room, like, upstairs. is like, upstairs is, like, a formal living room with the, um, the beautiful, um, fireplace and the white couches. Like, this is a place that the kids can just really hang out and have a good time. Oh, I do show you this part a little bit. Yeah! <laughs> I see it, I see it, I see it. So, um, yeah, I, um, really enjoyed this build. I had a hard time, actually, with the creepy basement portion of this. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I could use werewolves, too. I totally forgot. I did use werewolves, um, because werewolves has a lot of scratches and stuff, so it was, like, pretty easy to just, I just put in all the creepy stuff I could think of. <laughs> Oh boy, I, um, yeah, I, I tried my best, okay? <laughs> All I can say is that I tried my best. But, um, I really like this little patio area. Um, we have a beautiful dining table. And, um, we end up having a small bar area, which is really cute. Um, which I really like. I think it's so cool. And a small plant area is gonna go up soon. And, um, this is pretty much almost the end of the build here. Um, I'm trying to think of what else happened. I think I might have did a couple of things in the backyard. Um, but this is pretty much it for the build. <laughs> um, and I really love the, the two staircases coming down. It looks so grand when you do that. It looks so grand. So, um, oh, this is where I'm trying to find out what is custom content. <laughs> I can't believe I kept that in, but now we're touring. Um, so you come in, and um, this is the beautiful um, dining room and entryway, which I actually really like now that I'm taking that, you know, second look. Um, this is the bathroom. Um, I tried to do it up. You know, I love bathrooms. It looks really nice in here. 
Um, I love the paintings on the wall. The kitchen is so cute and cozy along with this little dining room with their um, little cute little corner of plants. Really like that. Um, this is the toddler room. I kept it also black and white with that splash of pink in here. Um, mostly because the swatch for black or white had red in it. And I thought it was a little too dawning. Um, that's the other bathroom. This is the kids room. Very plain. Very white. And this is the parents room which I think is very very cute. With the patio outside. We love, we love to see it. We love to see it. And then we're gonna go down to the basement um, and go to this little family room area. Um, this stuff is really cute. <laughs> I really like this family room. Um, I guess I like this one a little bit. And then, so this is this little the creepy area. Um, the lore is that Deb Deborah has the perfect life. But sometimes perfect is at a cost, and at what cost? So, um, De Debbie has some secrets. Deborah has secrets. <laughs> and she keeps them in that room in the basement. Okay, okay. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the build. Um, we're gonna do a slow, cause yes, I learned how to do this. I learned how to do this, and I'm so proud of myself for learning how to do this. Um, so we're gonna do a tour around. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you friends for um, hanging out there for my build. Um, it was so much fun to do, um, even though I think I had a little bit of um, imposter syndrome there or something. <laughs> but please, um, like and f subscribe. And um, comment down below. It really helps out my channel. I'm very new at this. I started doing this kind of seriously in November and I would love to have you part of my community. Um, you can join my Discord. You can follow me on all the socials and I stream on Twitch. I do. I really do. And have a wonderful day. Bye friends. <laughs>